There you go, it's just still there. Ever get the feeling that you're losing your marbles? Because this is my third attempt at making this uh, video today. The first one, I was just rambling to myself. The second one, I forgot to turn the mic on. I did the whole recording and there's no voice. So third time lucky, I've definitely checked it. My mic is on and it is recording. Right, okay, as, bef as previous videos, we're looking at another way of uh, escalating the privileges and accessing resources that we shouldn't be able to access. And today's no different, right? Um, so we've got our basic methodology, which is uh, snooping around using the find command uh, sudo dash l. We've discussed um, get capabilities. And today we're going to look at another one, which is uh, cron tab, all right? Let's get started and I will explain as I go on. So let's start off with the snooping around. May as well be a bit nosy. Uh, we've got something called answer. Let's cat answer. What is cron? Right. The software utility cron is a time-based job scheduler in the Unix like computer operating system. People who set up and maintain software environments use cron to schedule jobs. That's a really important thing to remember. Um, to run periodically at fixed times, dates or intervals, etc, etc. Right, okay, perfect. So how do we access um, the information held in cron? Let's do cat etsy cron tab. And here we go, that seems like a lot of gobbledygook. So we've got, um, uh, I think that's every minute, hour, um, day, day of the week. I think it is, but either way, we've got another user here called teacher. Teacher is, let's see what it's doing here. It's cutting the answer. And it's to run every single minute. And it's sending it into the home teacher uh, directory. Oh, so it prints the answer file. Okay. And this is CD home and and cat answer okay what if we create a file named cat in the student directory with some bash code in there and that means the system will execute our file called cat instead of the real cat and that should give us That should give us a shell and that should give us access as the root, not as root, as teacher user. Okay, did well, let's try that. Let's do print F, I think it's like this, min bash. I can never remember if it's back, we'll just try this, dash E, bin bash, one, two, seven, zero, zero. 4444 port, that's what we wanted to connect back to. Cat. Okay, that's worked. Let's do cat, cat. So that's the information of our, our code that we've got in there. chmod plus x on cat, because we've got to make it executable. All right, let's just clear that so and go back to the top of the screen. Now let's set up our netcat reverse listener. LVMP and the port was 444, I think I said to us. Right, perfect. So what we expect to do is our bash code that we've um, put into this cat file, right? Um, it should be run before the real cat and it should connect, connect back to us. And you can see here it's connected. Right, so let's see what we've got in here. So let's type in who am I, it should be teacher. Oh, yep, perfect, that's brilliant. ID, let's see what files we've got. Let's do home teacher, let's see what information we've got in there. Ellis, submission, perfect. Okay, how do we go from teacher to root? And this is back to our uh, basic uh, methodologies. All right, let's see what information we've got. So there's Let's do cut submission, see if there's anything juicy in there. And that doesn't seem to have done anything unless it's just really slow. 
let's run find remember this is the second step so we've snooped around the second step is let's look for any suid bits flag set dev null this is a bit slow but just got to be patient with it um as i've said before the more you see this the more you realize that right, there's nothing special here right so let's try sudo dash l interesting the user teacher may run the following no password required for running the buy on running on binary orc right time to visit our good friend gtfo bins let's type in orc now we know that was sudo dash l so let's scroll down here we go let's copy that because it doesn't so does it require a password if i clear that oh well, that doesn't work let's just type in who am i fantastic root there we go so we've gone from student to teacher to root all right and we've got something else for our arsenal of our methodologies which is crontab let's look in crontab let's add that in there so now we've got snooping around we've got um using find looking for suid bit bit flag set we're using sudo dash l we're looking at capabilities in the get cap from one of the previous tutorials now we've got crontab in there as well so you can see how we're building up nice and slowly to something that's going to give us um well i won't say the perfect um methodology but it's something that'll constantly build up now the, it'll, it'll grow it'll grow more and more and you'll know where to apply what and when right i really hope you've enjoyed this video um thank you very much for your time guys